Drivers, start your engines. I'm Angela Roach, and this is Behind the Wheel, powered by HireMaster. In this week's Get Hired segment, Transport Topics released its annual list of the top 100 for hire carriers for 2022 and several well-known names are on the list, including J.B. Hunt, Werner, U.S. Express, CRST, and CR England. Although the pandemic created uncertainty in the market in 2020, 2021 brought a massive rebound as several industry veterans generated record-breaking profits, as well as younger companies reaching new milestones. The list also included several new names, including Leonard's Express, Western Flyer Express, BMAC Trucking, New Legend, Oak Harbor Freight Lines, Trans Service, Archer Express, Pascal Truck Lines, and Paper Transport, with many of these award-winning companies on the HireMaster platform. Now is a good time to head on over to HireMaster.com to find your next opportunity. Staying fit out on the road is a combination of choosing healthy food options and staying in motion. Although you're sitting behind the wheel for several hours each day, remember these simple tips to ensure better health while out on the road. Make sure you maintain great posture while driving down the road and check yourself every time you find yourself slouching in your seat. Be sure to walk the length of your truck multiple times while you're filling up for gas to stretch out your legs. Do air squats and stretching and push-ups against the side of your truck every time you turn off the engine. It may not seem like much, but every movement counts. In the news this week, in a follow-up to the Shipping Reform Act that was sent from Congress to the President, the bill has been officially signed as of June 16th. The purpose of this bill is to lower inflation by cracking down on ocean carriers who have monopolized the shipping industry as well as created unjustifiable and illegal fees. According to Chris Spear, president of the American Trucking Association, an organization that supports the legislation, quote, this bill provides important tools to address unjustified and illegal fees collected from American truckers by the ocean shipping cartel. Fees that have contributed to the shipping lines raking in $150 billion in profits just last year. Those fees hurt American motor carriers and consumers, helping to drive record inflation, end quote. It will take 60 days for the law to take effect and will ultimately expand the role of the Federal Maritime Commission in the shipping industry. The FMC will be given a budget to hire investigators to manage the shipping industry more closely and specifically begin determining what practices are prohibited by carriers. States in the Northeast and in the Appalachian Mountain Range will see a heightened presence of law enforcement along I-81 as the Federal Motor Carrier and Safety Administration is beefing up patrols to look for commercial trucks and passenger vehicles engaged in speeding, following too closely, and distracted driving. As I-81 is one of the most heavily traveled corridors in the eastern United States, the purpose of the enhanced security measures is to bring awareness to safety as there were 3,200 collisions between 2018 and 2022 in that part of the country. In upcoming news, Break Safety Week will be from August 21st through the 27th. This is an annual inspection for all commercial motor vehicles to ensure safety while on the road and make sure commercial vehicles are functioning properly. Inspectors will look for missing, loose, malfunctioning, or non-functioning and cracked or broken parts on the brake system. According to Transport Topics News, quote, during brake safety week, inspectors will conduct their usual North American Standard Level 1 and 5 inspections and capture and report brake-related data to CVSA, end quote. CVSA recommends in order to prepare for the event that carriers conduct vehicle maintenance in advance. 
It is important that drivers and carriers understand the importance of proper brake maintenance and pre-trip and post-trip inspections. In this week's Weather Watch, expect heavy rainfall in the southern and central Rockies, as well as the eastern Great Lakes. There is a flood warning in the southern Rockies due to the heavy rainfall, possible monsoons, and thunderstorms. Temperatures are on the rise elsewhere within the United States, as well as humidity. And the Pacific Northwest is seeing temperatures in the high 60s and 70s. The excessive heat from earlier this week in much of the upper Midwest, including Nebraska, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and parts of South and North Dakota are an unwelcome sight, as many in these parts of the country may not have adequate air conditioning. Expect the upcoming summer months to reflect the same high temperatures and humidity levels into the foreseeable future. And that's going to do it for Behind the Wheel. I'm Angela Roach. Be sure to follow or subscribe to catch each episode and leave us a like and a comment. We'll see you next time on Behind the Wheel, powered by Hiremaster. Master.